We know Arictodromius as the pioneer of the subterranean, a small, feathered herbivore that dug burrows to escape the heat and predators of the Cretaceous. But our simulations pose a radical deviation. What if the surface became so uninhabitable, scorched by a hyperactive sun, that these diggers never came back up? In this reality, the burrow has evolved into a city. These are no longer simple holes, but lithic hives, temperature-controlled architectural marvels. They have mastered mycoagriculture, farming bioluminescent fungi that provide both light and sustenance. Note the social stratification. Specialized expositors maintain the ventilation shafts, while brooders tend to communal nesting chambers deep in the bedrock. Communication has shifted from visual displays to a complex language of seismic vibrations and high-frequency clicks, perfectly tuned for the acoustics of the deep. They have created a civilization in the shadows, immune to the extinctions of the world above. The Arictodromia simulation suggests that intelligence isn't always found in the stars. Sometimes, the most resilient societies are the ones that learn to thrive in the dark. If a small dinosaur can build a city in the stone, what could have survived in the crushing depths of our own prehistoric oceans? What what-if simulation do you want to run next in the Paleoverse?